if you're trying to make some money in this day and age online, you have to understand the concept of friction. Now I got this example from the book, The Personal MBA, which is a pretty good book, I recommend. Um, imagine if you were in a grassy area, you know, maybe a savannah or something. You were tasked with hitting a hockey puck about 500 meters, right, from A to B. The distance is 500 meters. I'm sure we can all agree that it would take you a lot of energy, a lot of time, a lot of endurance to actually accomplish that. Because each time you hit the puck, the puck will be losing some of its energy due to friction. You know, it won't be going too far. And you have to continuously hit it and hit it and hit it because there's too much friction, right? It's a big um, roadblock. Now imagine if we have the same scenario, but instead of the savanna, we have, you know, Antarctica. And you have to hit the puck 500 meters just like before. Once again, I'm sure we can agree that it will be much easier this time due to the surface of the ice. There's less surface tension and the puck can just slide right through and it will take you a lot less energy to accomplish the goal. The same thing goes on with online businesses and whatever you're trying to market online. If you give the customer too much friction, ain't shit happening, all right? We live in a day and age where we're surrounded with heaps of different people trying to show us their things, trying to show us their videos, trying to show us their products, heaps of stimuli, TV shows we can watch, that it has made the attention of the average person very limited. And if you are giving them too much friction to deal with, it becomes painful and they don't want to deal with it. It's no longer the days of um, where back in the day when you could just have a huge marketing campaign and just put that shit on TV or on the radio and it will appeal to a lot of the mass media and a lot of people will actually see it. These days, people don't just watch TV. There's heaps of things they can do. They're on the internet all day and you're competing with a lot more people. So if you are put a little bit of friction, it's game over for you. So you need to put as little friction as possible. For example, look at Amazon or eBay. As soon as you go on their website, if you register once, they save your details and it makes purchasing something take like two seconds. They make the suggested items column. You don't even have to look for some of the things you're trying to purchase. If you're looking for microphones, it will suggest other microphones. They're making the friction really low and it's gonna give you a better incentive to buy something from them. Imagine going to a website that required you to fill in your details each time you made a purchase, you know, go through, select the purchase and go through a lot of tedium, it, it wouldn't work, right? So you need to leverage friction. If you are planning to market something, perhaps instead of jam packing the sales page with text, put a video, a really good video that you know captures people's attention, that actually um, is entertaining to watch and is a pleasure. That way you will guarantee that you have more people looking at your stuff and not people just skipping it. No one wants to read a big body of text. No one has time for that in this day and age. We can watch Game of Thrones. No one wants to read a big bunch of text. All right? And you can also leverage friction in another way. If you have a returns policy on your site, so let's say you have an ebook or an e-course that you have made, right? And you have a returns policy that says people that don't like the course can get their money back 100% guarantee. Well, another way you can leverage friction is you can make it a little bit harder for them to get their money back. You don't want to overdo this, but you could do something like perhaps they have to show their filled in worksheets from the course, or perhaps they have to show in some example, some evidence to show that they actually went through the course. And if they do that, then you can give them the money back. This little bit of friction would deter a lot of people from actually taking advantage of the returns policy. A lot of people do not want to put in that little bit of effort because as we said before, people are inherently lazy. People have that attention deficit. So as soon as the friction's there, they'll forget about it. So that's another way you could do it. As I said before, you don't want to abuse this and make it too hard for them to get their money back because it shows a lack of integrity on your behalf and will make you diminish in their eyes and other people's eyes. So that's another way you can leverage friction. I hope you guys receive some value from this video and think about how you are showing yourself to your audience and what type of friction's, 
friction you have in your package and try to remove it and that way I guarantee you'll have a lot more sales. Peace.